defining a task set for the software project now for any work to schedule those work have to be compartmentalized being given time and properly arranged so that they can be tracked and controlled so an effective software process should define a collection of task sets task sets means a set containing various tasks and each designed to meet the needs of different types of projects because the projects can be of different type a task set is what if i make a collection of some certain task that is called a task set and this will consist of what it will consist of the software engineering work task that is a task set will contain the task different task work to be done and milestones that is when it will start when it will end what time duration etc and what will be the output that is the work product after doing this task and finally the quality assurance strategy like a filter so in a project schedule a task set must be distributed on the whole project timeline from start to finish so the task set as i said it will vary task set for different projects will be different so the task set will vary depending upon the kind of project the type of project so what can be the different type of project that which we are talking about first one is the concept development projects now as we are going to take the example of this so you need to know that this in is initiated to explore new business concept or application of new technology say now new technology has come new concept has come a business concept now this concept development projects work for that the second type is new application development projects now customer is coming to you he says i want an e-commerce website that is a new application development projects because this is a specific customer request the another type is application enhancement projects now there are certain uh, or softwares projects which are already there and they may go certain major modification in terms of function in terms of uh, performance in terms of different interfaces to be opened and connected so for example the udp can be changed to tcp ip like this application maintenance projects it starts when then we need to correct adapt or extend the already existing software so correction adaptation and extension this comes under the maintenance projects okay now this is the fourth one finally the reengineering projects reengineering projects that is there is already a software which is being used that is called a legacy software 1960s 1970s like that now if you want to rebuild this system as a part or as a whole means completely or some part has to be rebuilt 